Hello everybody, Alexandre here from Angel Cartoon NC. So today I'm doing uh, something that I'm not, you know, used to. I don't do these on my channel, but I want, you know, I wanted to give it a try. And I also want to do it with something that I resonate with, you know. Um, I'm doing a review of the tarot deck that that is that had come uh has been coming out late uh, 2017 in December and this is something that ha that I had an eye on it you know a few uh, time ago and yes as it's my first review okay I wanted to review something that you know I found uh, useful and that really pleased me and resonate with the way I work with cards, okay? So I'm going to review with you The Spirit Within Tarot by Stephen Bright, okay? And we're going to have a close look at, at the cards and I'm going to tell you what I like about them and, you know, everything. But beforehand, I want to talk about Stephen Bright. So I discovered Stephen a few years ago uh, on YouTube. Okay, like you have discovered me on YouTube. I had found him also on YouTube and he he still does and he was doing at the time uh, little videos that are called Tarot Thoughts. Beautiful name. And the videos like, you know, last like 20 seconds, you know, less than a minute, of course. Very short video, but very consistent. You know, and the way that he explains the card with his gentle voice and, and his style really, you know, triggers something in me. Like, mm, he's, he, this man is, you know, is a deal. Okay, he knows his stuff. And the way that he does the tarot is quite modern and I really like his style. And with gentleness, okay, gentleness. He's humble too. He's a great guy. So... I have subscribed to his channel, of course, and talked with him. And he had looked at my channel too and reviewed one of my deck. And then I find out that on his uh, actually website, his blog post, on his blog, sorry, uh, which is to fret to row, you can search that or you can type you know, on Google Stephen Bright Spirit Within, you will see the in the search engine many things coming up and uh, his website was illustrated with as many authors you know with tarot but this tarot was very different because it was i never seen that before it was you know silhouette of people that has the postures and you know the essence of the rider weight, but you know, it was more modern and it removed, you know, the old things in the tarot that many people doesn't like. And it's like a fresh, you know, a fresh view on tarot. And these shadow abstray, you know, uh, thorns really like triggers my intuition. And I told him, you know, you should print these and, you know, and try to sell them because I feel that it will be, you know, nice. And so he said, yeah, we will see, you know, and he, I, I, be I believe that he had his own plans. And a few, you know, time after that, um, when I got my publishing contract a, little, a few months before, I believe he had his own with the same publisher with Schiffer Publishing. And I was very happy because, yeah, he had done something great and, you know, Schiffer will... Uh, able him to share that with the world and they do wonderful products and I'm going to uh, share this unboxing with you and we're going to look at all the cards and I'm going to we're going to see how great it is and I bet that you would want a copy of this you know you will want it because it's you know it's wonderful it's innovative and really 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 attractive and of course it works well i have tested it during a whole week in my private practice so this is what i'm telling you i don't review things that i never use that I don't know about i you know review things that i uh, 
I feel comfortable with and I will, you know, advise people to use it. So if you like to row, you would want this deck. So let's go and have a, a, a close look at the artwork and the cars and everything. So here is the deck. It's uh, a very sturdy box. I love this kind of box because you don't need to buy, you know, another container. Uh, you can put it in your bag, you know, and go with it. It will be protected. And uh, these are nicely made and you have a magnetic, you know, lid. Very clever. Schiffer does, you know, beautiful boxes. And yeah, when you open the, the, the box, you will have uh, the bio of Stephen Bright. Okay, he's from, he's from England, in the south of England. He was born in London and he had work, you know, in various fields of, you know, uh, of uh, haute couture and yeah, he had done many, many things and he does also uh, readings professionally and yeah, he's really, you know, active on social medias and um, he, you know, he has also his YouTube channel, which is very popular. And so you have the guidebook. Let's talk about the guidebook. The guidebook is 89, 96, sorry, pages long. Quite a good book. And uh, you have a card per page. And uh, he really goes to the essential. And he really, you know, describe, you know, the cards. For instance, let's look at the world. Um, the world, he says, a man stands with a laurel reef holding ones in both hands. He suggests balance around him. We can see the full fixed sign of the zodiac, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. The world signifies the end of a journey or the successful completion of a project, job, or achievement. We can look back to feel proud knowing that we have met our goal. However, a whole new venture is sure to begin. And then you have keywords, which are achievement, completion, coming full circle, international travel. Very, you know, he is very clever. He has, you know, he give a small uh, paragraph on the meaning, but it's consistent, you know, he because I have found, you know, tarot book that, uh, extensively talk about the the card, and then at the end of the of reading the the the, the page, you don't know uh, actually what to retain. But here we see that you know the word is all about you know successful accomplishment, and it's not you know it's the end of a it's the successful end of something, but also the birth of something greater that will come. Very nice and. Uh, you see how the cards uh, are and the world card is actually what made the back of the cards. So you have the deck. You have a deck. It's like, you know, a fractal. I don't know how you, you call that a mandala. If you can see of the world, you know, a circle, you know, and uh, I think that he had chose, you know, the right um, design for his bag because it's the successful completion of his project, you know. Any other cards are really nice, they're glossy, you know, quite a uh, little bit larger, but you know, photo cards good, and um, they're glossy, nice quality, nice quality. You can riffle, shuffle them. I have done it and it works well. So let's go through the cards and how long I will, you know, tell you what I think about it and what had pleased me in, uh, in this, okay? So you will see that the deck is quite modern and uh, the artwork is very beautiful. So look at the magician, beautiful cards. I love this card, the lovers. And the chariot is a modern look also to the tarot. 
it shows you know um, a young man on a skateboard there is this sense of moving forward and you know moving forward with confidence you know and it's really really a beautiful card that really talks to me the hermit is the card the 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 artwork that uh, uh, that has been chosen for the book and for the box beautiful the hangman temperance another modern card on this major arcana I really love it you know You will notice that there is, you know, the word, and the name of each card on the deck. There is no number. Now we have the ones. You will see that the the suit of the ones had this beautiful, orangey, earthy color. That themes the suit. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck, the Four of Wands, where you know uh, the consolidation of things is you know beautifully shown. You just need to look at it and understand what is going on on the card. The deck is very clear. This movement card is very artistic. Now we go through the suit of cups. Another of my favorite cards, the two of cups, this beautiful romantic couple. Is sitting and you know and uh, starting a new story here and the three of cups the card of celebration is you know it's very nice it's three people not clubbing and each of them has a cup in their hand and they are dancing happily you you know <laughs> they are really having fun on this card the Thor of cups Nicely done. Stephen had done a beautiful uh, work with this card. Everything is well thought. Everything that is from the traditional right away is represented in there, and there is this, you know, this new um, like modern look. I love the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Actually, um, in the Ten of Cups of the traditional right away, you will find a family with a child and, uh, you know, mother, father dancing there. And here you have, you know, two couple and their dog. Okay. So I really love it because love is not on, only the, uh, you know, heterosexual people. It can be, you know, homosexual relationship they will also grow old and you know and they have their furry babies there i really love that really love that and these are you know cards that, that can be missing in the traditional um tarot because people you know they don't want to shock anyone with this and they tend to be more in the regular uh, you know style of of depicting the cards but really i love that love that and my clients also who are uh, in a gay relationship they are they smile when, when they see this card they say oh it's a gay relationship you know and they can re and the silhouette also can represent people around you okay I have seen I, I was able to describe uh, the appearance of someone with this tarot by the silhouette you know it's very beautiful page of cups the seductive nine of cups we have 
beautiful hair loving queen of cups and you see that in the soul in, in the suit of cups you have this uh, blue gray purple you know theme in them very nice each suit has its own you know color theme so then we move to the, the swords the ace of swords I love the free of swords because it's not only a heartbreak, but it shows you know someone who is healing from you know a past wound. And sometimes we don't think about that when we look at the free of, of swords. Traditional meaning is you know really break a heartbreak, a heart pain, but it can be you know healing from a past wound. Beautiful four of swords, getting rest, having a nap. Seven of Swords. Look at this beautiful Eight of Swords. This woman in the middle of these swords, the Nine of Swords. Now they have this, you know, artistic, you know, posture. Really, really, you know, well made, well made, really. Page of Swords, these are the code cards. Mm hmm. The Queen of Swords, the King, and then we move, and the the sword has this yellow, uh, yellowish, you know, theme for them. You can easily recognize that. And then we move to the last uh, uh, part of the of the Minor Arcana, which is the Ace of the Pentacles. Sorry, so we have this greeny theme here so ace of pentacles i love this two of pentacles you know juggling with these two pentacles really you know you can't miss it and the one of my favorite as well the three of pentacles house renovation you know putting your uh, your art and your creativity into action it can be a job card as well it's you know a new um perspective of the three of pentacles four of pentacles five and look at the six of pentacles really love them i like everything in this deck and look at the eight of pentacles um something that people don't know uh perhaps uh, stephen bright had been working in the um in the fashion industry and this is a guy who knows to shoot to do shoe he you he from a time he had been doing you know uh, pouches for cards so from someone who had work in the you know in the fashion industry he knows his thing and i really like that he had put his personal you know um experience in this card the eight of pentacles a man that knows how to shoot you know and yeah i am someone who does that too and i'm really happy to find a card this one is very uh, nice also i'm going to tell you a personal story about that someone came in for relation uh, she, she came in for a reading not telling me why she came and why i'm doing the reading with this deck i have she had pull cards and the nine of pentacles were there with other cards of celebration and festivity and i tell her you know i'm seeing you getting married because this woman is like she has uh you know a bright dress on her look at the silhouette and the light behind her is like a veil you know her veil and she said yeah uh, i'm going to get married in a couple of months you know validating that yeah, it's it's nice and in in other tarot I had never seen the nine of pentacles as representing someone getting married it's always you know someone who is a richly um, uh, dressed you know like someone who has luxury and everything but not in the term of getting married or something like that so it's really nice ten of pentacles very nice as well the page 
the knight, the queen, and the king. So this was my unboxing and uh, flip through the Spirit Within Tarot, okay? I'm going to leave the information below where you can get it and also I'm going to put the website for Steven. Uh, yeah, for Steven uh, in the description box below. And this deck is really great. Really, I really encourage people who are interested in Tarot, who practice Tarot, to have this in their uh, divination arsenal. It's a great addition. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this unboxing. And I hope that I have given, you know, the, uh, how do you say it? <laughs> uh, I've given, you know, right justice to this deck. Okay, so have a bright day everyone and look forward to talk to you soon.